Hey guys, it's um Mr. Couch Tato. I almost said Mr. Art Tato. Whoa, we just went down a whole nother rabbit hole. If, if you were subscribed to me for a while, you would know what that channel is. And if you are a true fan, you would know what that channel is now. Anyways, uh, I got these. This is Caribbean, uh, whatever, I can't fucking read. Uh, Jamaican spicy beef patties. Uh, these are so good, dude. I already had a package or opening. These ones are expired. Uh, 2021. Uh, th by the way, this is recorded in 2022. It's 2022. We are in right now. So these are expired. These were in the freezer. So they should be fine. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna warm up today. And, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I already put some rice because I, I wanted some rice to go that, uh, uh, yeah, this rice isn't expired though. So okay, we get the rice. Um, I'm recording on my old tablet, and my old tablet has a jacked up screen, so um, it still works perfectly fine though. So time to open these. Um, get some scissors, some scissors. All right, snap. There we go. Uh, let me set up my camera real quick. All right, I changed the angle up a bit. Uh, there's the Jamaican patties right there. If we open them up, oh, they look okay. There they are, right there. Let me get one out for you. Uh, pretty freezer burnt, but other than that, no, no strange smell. You microwave them for like 70 seconds. I'm gonna do that and put them in the air fryer because they need to get a little bit crisped up. That's what I did on the first try. So crisp them up. I'll put them in the air fryer and then crisp them up. I'll be back in a second. I will say now, the rice is looking good, fellas. The rice is looking really good. So I'm going to stir it up. Uh, this is already done. Uh, we'll give this a taste test, too. It's a bit hot. Uh, patty's almost done. So we'll wait for them. We'll give them a wait. Cut my hair, by the way. Last time you saw me, my hair was really long. It's nice and short now, so that's really cool. Uh, definitely, definitely a lot. Feel a lot fresher and refreshed because that long hair, man. <laughs> I've had that for a while. Uh, we're almost done. Two more seconds. All right. Patties done. Let's give them a smell. Mmm. I smell, I mean, they don't smell bad. They just don't smell good. So I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer real quick. Uh, get, ugh. Oh, a little funky. I don't know, man. All right, we're putting them in. Put them in for like five minutes. All right, and I'll be back once that's done. Actually, let me give the rice a try because I've never had this rice before. It's like a microwave rice. Hmm. Mm. Not bad. Um. It needs a little bit more seasoning, in my opinion. It'd go really good with some like chicken. I don't know, something like that. Okay, we'll wait for the. What? We'll wait for the Jamaican patties, and we're gonna give them a try. Uh, first without rice, and then I'll have some with rice and whatnot. And put some more salt in this right now. I'm gonna put some onion powder too. Let's just season it up. Alright, so we got some onion powder. Love me some good old onion powder. Just a tad bit of onion powder. Uh, ground pepper. Some good old pepper. Almost out of pepper. So we'll get some pepper. Garlic powder. Mm. I love, I absolutely love garlic. One of my first things. If you never tried roasted, if you're a fan of the taste of garlic, but you don't like the heat, uh, I recommend trying roasted garlic. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. I had some a, oh, a few days back. Alright. So that rice has been seasoned up. We're going to stir it around. Careful not to spill it any. Go 
do it a good stir and mixing. I've already spilled a few pieces, as you can see on the table. But that is completely okay. Alright, so now let's give it a try, and now that it's been seasoned. A lot better. That is definitely a lot better. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh god, choked on the rice grain there. And let me check these, uh, these, uh, patties real quick. Uh, they're pretty warm. Uh, I'll say they're done. Let me get a plate. Well, we have paper plates. I'm gonna get one of them. Uh. Pop. 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 got them all right there in their glory uh i'm gonna show them to the camera real quick okay guys so this is what they look like uh these crumbs are from like chicken nuggets because i i cooked chicken nuggets earlier uh they're kind of new so i didn't really worry about washing the air fryer out just yet uh they feel they feel pretty hot they're still pretty warm oh uh, there's the rice which is really good i'm gonna give these a try uh, i'm just gonna give them the camera a quick view they look good they do look good um, yeah, we'll give him a try. Camera almost fell. We almost had some camera difficulties. Let me get a chair while I sit here. Uh, see, see. Screw the chair. We don't need the chair. We don't need the chair. I'll just kneel down, kneel over, and we'll try one. So, I'm going to give a little cross section here real quick. Uh, there is a cross section. No, it smells too bad. That's what they look like. Uh, I'll give this end a try right here. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. Despite them going out of date in 2021, almost a year, those are, those are pretty smacking. Those are pretty busting, dude. These are pretty good. Um, the heat level... Uh, it's not really that spicy to be honest with you. I'm gonna try it with some rice now. It's probably gonna be pretty good with rice. Uh, I'll put the rice like on top of it. I don't have a. That's pretty good. Uh, my mom said she got these at the Dollar Tree, so they're they're cheap. Um. If you stop by the Dollar Tree, I recommend getting them. I bet you they're better when they're not freezer burnt and actually in date. But, I didn't know a date like that. Being in the freezer, they're all good. Really good with the rice, too. Uh, here, if I move them over, and I pop my rice on the plate... That presentation is honestly quite nice. Here, let me give a, a show of the presentation real quick. Yeah, um, comes with seven. The presentation's not looking too bad. I just put my hand on the rice. Presentation's not looking too bad. Look at that. That's quite nice. Um, set it over here. And while I'm at it... Oh, yeah, well, um, fun fact, guys. We've been in the process of moving, so um, that's been quite fun. Um, never moved houses before. This is the first time. I'm not moving far away. So those of you who know William McClellan 700, I'll still be hanging out with him a lot. A lot as normal. I just heard someone outside. Yeah, I'm not moving far at all. Um, I'm honestly very excited to move to the new house. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff around, but while I'm on the topic of food... I just want to recommend this stuff to you guys. Bass Pro Shop, really good place. I recommend going there if you have a Bass Pro Shop near you. This barbecue sauce, we are not sponsored by the way, but this, oh my god, this is my favorite barbecue sauce ever, dude. This is literally so good. It's barbecue sauce, to Kentucky, um, to Tennessee whiskey. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So it's like um, Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, basically. It has some Jack Daniels in it. 
it's the last ingredient though, so I wouldn't um, I wouldn't be worried about getting drunk or anything. You can, I would honestly not worry about kids having this. I'm I'm pretty sure they can have it. It's one of the last ingredients. They should be fine. Um, if I had a kid, I'd honestly give it to him because it's really good. There's no, like the alcohol content is like not even there. To be honest, it, it, it's really good. It's so good. So I definitely I definitely recommend buying it. If you can, it's pretty expensive for a barbecue sauce. It's um, $8.99. It's so good, dude. dude. It's so worth it. I'm just kind of going on a rant now. Um, the ingredients. Tomato concentrate made from red ripe tomatoes. Vinegar, high fructose corn syrup, brown sugar, sugar, spices, salt, molasses, Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, corn syrup, water, caramel color, anchovy puree, soy, tamarind, citrus juice, onions, garlic, bell pepper, natural flavors, Jack Daniels whiskey. Yeah, so Jack Daniels whiskey is the last ingredient. Very good barbecue sauce. Highly recommend. Um, and while I'm at that, I guess I'll just finish my food. Um, hope you enjoyed this short video. Uh, cause I just, ha I, I don't be posted a lot, so I kind of want to post. Uh, yeah. Peace out, guys.